We got two people. Move. Oh. No. What's up? Can you hear me? Hello. If you can hear me, I would love for y'all to leave a comment because I believe we are live. I'm live with my three sons. I see we got Mitch Short and that DMV. We only have one group. Three people. Yeah, three people, man. We're getting, we're here early. Ooh, we got up? Salty McCoy. What's Can you up? hear me, Salty? What's up? Oh. What's up? Nine. I hope people can hear me. Can you hear me? Is my voice coming? Yes. Salty McCrory can hear me. We love your ribs. I put my head on my hat on backwards because the shadow here is not really good. So we'll keep it on. And my hair is kind of crazy. I need a haircut. Thank y'all very much. Wondering if you're going to come out with the product. <laughs> We're working on that product, man. They're still, they're still, hey, Tactical Tim. Hey, Michael. Uh, thanks for coming, Eric. We're still working on it. I've got somebody using some samples over in North Carolina right now. And honestly, I got school uh, versus fish bites. They were using a chartreuse green color. And I've still got some work to do. I, I love the, I love the feedback I get. It only helps me to create the the final product. So, and I'm also honest about when uh, when there needs to be improvements. So we'll see. We're getting there, man. We're we the way this works is that product continually changes, and we're probably at a place where I've got kind of the formula down, uh, but now I need to test with different colors and brighten it up a little bit because when you're using real bait extract it kind of turns it towards a browner color and that's something to overcome uh, to get those bright colors I've got to figure out some things because I think color is important now, that's why I like Salty McCrory's rigs he's on here I believe in color and those baits uh, need to be colorful as well more people coming in the door. What's up? Mullins awesome. outdoor again. What's up, buddy? Yeah, think my hair looks fine. fine. Awesome, man. Questions because it is a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, listen, ask this me. What's up? Hooks on outdoors. Daniel Carlson. What's up, man? We got a lot of different channels coming in here that I subscribe to. You're, you feel welcome to, to click on their little icon and check them out. I love outdoors channels. The more I watch makes me into a better YouTuber. Uh, and create better content by seeing what else is out there. So what what's up? Fishing with Mancera. What's up, buddy? Good to we see you, man. We will do a giveaway in a little bit. So, oh, so look at that. What's up? Benjamin Berry. There he is. What's up, buddy? Congratulations on winning the uh, last wow. batch of fish gums. JCT Outdoors. What's up, buddy? Uh, so realistic fishing. Man, what's up, bud? What's up? Good to hear from you, man. Thanks for joining in. Uh, I love what you're doing, Realistic Fishing. Yeah. I love the, the the stuff that you wear because that's my era. So I love the nostalgia of what you got out there on your channel. So thank you so much for joining, man. I appreciate it. Tactical Tim, I need to start wearing a mask. Why? Oh, it's because he's he's not ugly. Did you see Am I ugly? Like, did you yeah, see is he ugly? To time real words. <laughs> if so, how long did it? I mean, what I don't think my dad did. Did you send a rig to high tide? Real Carolina, works. Sir. If so, how long did it take? I haven't sent that yet. I don't think so. Uh, Salt well, tide. Yo! What's up, Carolina Surfisher Eddie? What's up, man? Good to see you. So here's here's where we're headed tonight. Um, you know, last time I did a celebration for a one thousand giveaway. Well, let me let me let me introduce you to my boys real quick. Come on, let's get up. Y'all introduce yourself. To tell them who you are. Come on. This is this is Eli <coughs> Fagioni. This is my oldest. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm obviously Fish Gum's son, Tony, <laughs> and my dad. Uh, just a self plug. I have my own YouTube channel, and I'm more experienced than my dad. <laughs> so go subscribe. Almost to 100. There you it's, go, man. It's bros.mania. He's taking some time to, to promote himself. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing. Road promoter. to 100. I'm so right. close to 100. Hey, here's, here's my other son. This is my youngest, Gray. Yeah. He also has a YouTube channel called Big Itchy. No, it's big itchy. Or it's the biggest itchy now. No, it's Big Itchy. I changed it back. And then my middle son right here is Shy. This is Ethan. I'm not shy. I'll tell you about my shy. Shy. 
Uh, I play basketball. I'm actually really good at it. And I play 2K. I'm pretty good at that. It's the number that my dad hit in sub, so that's pretty good. Awesome, uh, man. I hit uh, five subscribers in 15 minutes, which is insane. <laughs> thanks for being here, people. Oh, yeah, guys. I love that. Also, love that. the fish gum formula is <laughs> – <laughs> There are some things off limits to talk about in my household. Uh, let me sit back down there, buddy. There, let me get this cheer. So the, my wife is actually – what's up, Mad Dog, hey, my man? Up? Mad Dog. What's up, buddy? Gregory. At work watching the Gregory, goat, honestly. Listen, listen, there's some great channels on here on, this cha on our live stream tonight. Thank you so much. This is a first for us. I had some technical difficulty last week when trying to do the, the live stream. I'm still kind of working on all this together. It probably is choppy. Uh, I'm using an old computer with a little camera on top, and uh, it's probably not high definition. I'm sorry, but we're all we're all learning uh, this process as we get started. And oh, we got a cat. This is this is uh, Luna, our cat. We also have two Dollar. Siberian Huskies. They're Russell. Floridian Huskies now because they live in Florida. They came from Alabama. Uh, they're in the backyard right now. They'll come in later today. I'm a huge Husky fan. Uh, so here's where we're at. So what I'm going to do tonight, last time I gave away uh, one $100 gift card to Amazon. One person won. I'm going to give away four $25 gift cards so I can share more with you because you guys have helped build this channel. Uh in June, June 6th, I believe, we celebrated one year of launching Fish Gum. Uh, midway through that year is when kind of the formula developed. 500 attempts, now we're refining it. So that kind of shifted the channel in a different direction to both be about surf fishing and also product development. But again, I think Everyone who's here, uh, a lot of people on the live stream commenting here have gotten and received pomp shoes, uh, fish gum pomp shoes, and have tried them and have given me feedback. This product continues to change, and without you, there's no way I have enough time to fish in my life. I, I want to fish more. Uh, I probably fish two to maybe three times in a month. I've got some plans to go this weekend, and it's hit or miss. That's why getting these products into your hands helps build this this product. So I, I really appreciate it uh, deeply uh, and from the heart. And it's been a fun adventure. So we celebrated one year. We celebrated 2,000 subs. And what we're going to do tonight is I'm just going to ask some questions. And the first person that answers correctly, these four questions I'm going to ask, is going to win $25 uh, to Amazon gift card. And I'm going to give away five Samples of pomp shoes as well. And so I, I really don't know how I'm going to give it. I'll probably ask some more questions at the end, some very simple questions uh, for you to have a chance to win those five pomp shoes. Or I may just pick random people who are commenting. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I do know there are going to be questions for you to answer, and they're going to be pretty easy. Uh, they'll be related around the channel. It won't be something that's crazy. Uh, it'll be very simple. We got more people joining us today. I see we got Chris Weatherington. Good to see you. Silver Iris Daniel. Oh, I'd rather have $25 worth of pomp shoes. Woo! Maybe. Maybe I can do that. I've got to make some. I, I'm, I messed up on a batch. Hold on a second. Let me show you something. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, we're slacking on the ingredients. Can't no, guys. Them. Subscribe to my channel. Seriously. Big itchy. No. He's Bros Mania. Bros Mania. I'm I'm almost itchy. at 100. Come on, I'm like 12 away from 100. There's 26, bro. You can get me past 100. Let's go. Yeah. Free pop shoes if you subscribe. <laughs> I have a cat. I used to have a cat named Luna. <laughs> used to. Wait, I mean, it says I have a cat. Well, it said something about Luna. I don't know. I had a Hey B. Congrats on 2K. Thank you, Chris. All right, here we go. I'm coming back right now. Okay, so I messed up. Okay, it looks look bubble this gum. this is as close as I've ever gotten to bubble gum for fish gum. So uh, like I told you, I've been experimenting with brighter colors and the way to get brighter colors is to actually whiten up the product. And so but in the process of coming up with brighter colors, I completely messed up these. And I'll, I'll tell you why, because when you fold it, look at that. It breaks. 
That's gross. It's like dry. I, I'll still give these away if you want to try them, but I, that's the thing is I want to send out products that I believe in. I messed up on these. So I want to show you that. More colors are going to come out. The same formula and flavor are, are going to be this, the same throughout because that has been tested pretty well, uh, both from you guys and from myself. So we'll put those down. Share the link to the kids' channel. Yeah. Share the link to the kids' channel. You know what? I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Oh, right. Write our channel names in the Oh, oh, oh yeah. channel hey, names. Hey, bros yeah. hey you, go on, you go on and put the channel name on your phone. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. We'll give some more It'll people a chance to get here. I don't even know how, how many people we got here. We got 30 people in here, man. That's awesome. Wow. Thank y'all so much. Good stuff. Put your YouTube link. Oh, there you go. Mad Dog Fishing. Gotcha, yeah. man. So uh, let's give some other people a chance to join the live stream. We went from 30 to 33. 33 now. So we got more folks coming in. I want to ask the questions to as many people as I can when they get into the live stream so you have a chance. There's Bill Kennedy. Good to see you, my man. Appreciate it. Blessed Beardsman, thank you for joining this evening. Any other general questions you have for us, uh, like where's my wife? She's gone. She spent some time with some people at the church uh, with some ladies doing a ladies' night out. So we're kind of being loud in the house uh, right now. Uh, we are sitting at a bar in my kitchen. Uh oh, it's echoing. Turn that down. Okay. You know, my office is actually the laundry room. And so that's where that's where the, the mind goes into full gear here. If you got some questions about fishing in general, uh, throw them out there. I, I don't have all the answers, but I, I will I will help with what I know and uh, help you guys out any way I can. Is there a place to buy fish gum? Realistic fishing? Not yet. Uh, the, the the what I'm trying to create. Is a is a is another option in the synthetic uh, bait world. The closest option that's been on the market for a long time, without a true competitor, is is fish bites. If you've heard of those, I suggest trying those. I'm not against fish bites. All the research that they've done has only helped me get to where I am by trying to figure out what they've done. Uh, so. Fish bites are what are out there right now. Fish gum is going to be different because we're just looking not only at what? I'm telling them I'll let you answer. Uh, if they're tapping on the shoulder, they got more questions. Dad, dad, do this, this. But realistic fishing, um, I'm creating the, the, the best of both worlds, meaning synthetic bait stimulants paired with real bait surf zone, the bait in the surf extracts, together because I believe that those real bait extracts will only intensify a fish ability to bite, hold on, and you catch that fish because those best of both worlds. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope, honestly, I hope to get these completed. At some point, I've got to stop and just say they're ready, okay? And when you're an inventor, that's really hard to do because it's not proven yet. It's, it, I've proved it in some ways, but now subscribers get to prove it and help me shape this product. So it's in development based on a whole bunch of different people joining in that adventure of creating this final product. I would say right now, 80% done. 80% done because I wanna test some colors out I am committed to one flavor only. I believe that is very possible from both scientific research and just what I've seen in, in the water. Uh, I, I believe that is 100% doable. Color is a variable that I think needs to be worked in more to this product. So that's like the color is where I'm at right now to finishing this product. So that's where I am. One day, hopefully, I've got, I've got a lot of paperwork filed that I need to file. Hopefully one day soon by next year, I don't think they will be put on the shelves. I think I'll probably do orders online so I can send you the best, freshest product available. So you know that it was created. You place an order on June 9th and I created that bait on June 1st. So it's 100% incredibly fresh. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, so Swift Fishing yeah. says she knows our grandma. Or he knows our grandma. 
Oh, you must live in Huntsville, Alabama. Fran up in it's Huntsville, Alabama. We, I think we've talked before. You've reached out to me, man. Good, good to hear from you. Yes, I you saw, do know. More questions. Where is the sweet spot for pomp casting? Just past first Samar, in between the first and the second. Sometimes there's holes that you can fish. I, I would say, listen, that's a great question, Rhett. And the best way to answer that is to check out Bama Beach Bum's video on the secret to catching Pompano. He talks about zone awareness. You really have to find out where those Pompano are running. They could be associating with the food supply right before the first sandbar. And you cast to it and maybe you catch them. But they could be further up closer to the shoreline in some kind of hole associated with some particular bait that's down there. So you really have to have, I would say at a minimum, I, my finger's broken, so I got to do this. Uh, as a minimum, three different rods, I think. So you can cast one short, medium, and far. And pretty soon you'll figure out where the pompano are actually running. And that's different if you're fishing from a pier or the jetties. You typically you can see the pompano and cast on the pompano. But if you're doing stationary beach fishing, you really got to determine where they are by staggering uh, those casts. So I hope I answered that question. Uh, it, it's not a, it's not a uh, it's not a cut and dry answer. Oh yeah, guys, if you uh, didn't see it, I put me and my brother's channel in the chat. So you yeah. can just click on me and subscribe, or you, and you can also look. Guys, let's try and get to ten likes. Let's let's see where we're at here. Uh, we got da, 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 try Yaman <laughs> for catfish. Yeah, the the uh, the, the cat. I, I don't have a I don't have a bait for catfish uh, yet, and I think I'm committed to developing baits first with the fish that I have the best experience with in the surf zone. So I think the first product is going to be around saltwater fishing, you know, sound bays. That bait will work there. The secondary bait would be a fish gum cat chews. And that's stinky to make that. That is, I do everything in my house and to do catfish bait right now would be I'd get chased out of my house um, if I were to do that. But one day, yes. But I will tell you this. Uh, I give pomp chew samples to anybody who wins them as a part of the giveaways. But I tell them to try them in fresh water. I, I had, I'll, I'll be posting more, uh, uploading more videos with how subscribers are doing very soon. I've got a lot of evidence of some great things. I, I had one man uh, down in, I think, the east coast of Florida. 24 and a 25 inch flounder. He tipped it with a long strip of fish gum on a uh, on a bucktail, and those are gigantic flounder. I, I've never caught a flounder on a rod and reel, but that's that's impressive. Other folks have tried them bass fishing rather than using a uh, the jig and pig. The pig they actually put this on, and a, a subscriber sent me a photo of about 15 bass he caught using fish gum. So we know that these stimulants will attract the bite and also fresh water. Catfish is a little different. I'm trying to work on a bait that will repel saltwater catfish. And so there's some elements that I'm still catching some, but I'm catching less with fish gum. There you go. More questions here. He said he caught 27 yeah. fish with palm juice. That's insane. Mostly white and a couple of palm Wow. Palm you, can, you can read from the examples there. The palm juice are doing very well. Crazy. Uh, Thank you so much for letting me know. Let's see. Do you think pomp, the pomp bite is done for now? And do you think they'll, what do you, and do you think they'll warm back up again? Yes. Uh, it depends on what, what area of Florida you're fishing or, or Alabama, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, there is a migration. I'm not so certain that migration is so far as they think. In fact, we don't really know much about pompano migration. It's kind of like, we know they chase uh, warmer water uh, and their ideal temperature for the water where they kind of spawn is 65 to 73, you know, give or take a few more. But you can catch pompano year round, just not the, the massive numbers. We, we usually catch pompano every month, one, two, in where we live here in the Gulf Coast. It's just like you said, the, the pompano bite heats up where I live in Navarre, Florida. In the spring, uh, which is typically March 
through May. And then they come back and, and heat up again uh, in, in October, November, December. So, but you can still catch Pompano year round. That's the cool thing about Pompano. Let's see here. Do you think, all right, we just answered that one. Will the pomp shoes work on North Carolina? Yes. If you're doing saltwater, freshwater, you'll get some hits. Um, freshwater or saltwater off the coast of North Carolina, yes, they will work there. We've got, we've got people using them in California, really everywhere. I sent some to Ireland. I can't do that again because that, it was like a little sample. You saw the sample. It was like 20 bucks to send that to Ireland and I paid for that. So I can't do international. Hawaii's fine. Uh, Puerto Rico's fine. It's a lot of money. Uh, let's see. Will you still plan on working out your house, getting the storefront factors today? So I believe in the model. That's a great question. Storefront, work out of my home. I believe in the model of outgrowing your space as the market allows you to. And so my goal is to build a small production facility here with the infrastructure uh, in order to produce these guys actually are going to produce this product. If you want to know what, what I'm trying to do, by the way, what I do by trade is I sell drugs, you know, the legal kind. So not the bad kind. I don't do free shipping because I'm selling drugs, but I sell um, in the diabetes realm or for a great company. And uh, so I do that. I, I, my, my wife's a single, uh, my wife's a stay at home mother. Uh, she stays here with my boys and I have the ability to work uh, and support her to, to do, do her hard job here. But really who's going to make these one day? My goal, if the Lord blesses me is to have a company for these guys. Uh, I always wanted that uh, to work with my father. He's passed away. He was a dentist, so it really couldn't happen. But for my own kids, I wanted to create some kind of company uh, with something that I love, which is surf fishing. And really by accident, uh, after the 500th attempt, you know, these, these, these fish gum pop shoes were born. It wasn't because I knew exactly what I was doing. It's usually by an accident that something happens tremendously. So uh, yes, grow out of a small facility here. Outgrow that, move into another facility until we have a full-fledged factory one day. Now, that's probably 20, 30. Who knows if that will ever happen? Uh, but my goal is to be faithful to, 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 to where I am at a small level and then continue to step our way up high. So right now, I am doing a capital campaign uh, through patreon.com. Uh, you can look up fish gum there. It's a way that you can get samples faster. It helps me raise money, and you also can get some cool hats oh, yeah. and some shirts one day uh, that I'll make. But I just made a bunch of these hats really uh, nice. today. They're really nice. And so that's at Patreon.com. I think giving level starts at like $3 a month, but there's no obligation. People can come on Patreon and give one time and quit. That's fine with me. You're still my friend. I'm still committed to giving you information. I'm not mad about that. That's the way the world works but that's out there as well so Bill said, guys, now that we're winding down on tinkering with palm shoes are you going to work on palm paste Dad? okay yes. so the palm paste question is a great question early on in my videos uh it, it's basically procures competitor same principle applies procure has mullet flavored fish flavored crab flavored shrimp flavored Sand flea flavored, every flavor on earth. Procure is a great company. I believe too that one flavor is all you need with a procure type bait. That's a tall order. I get it, but that's the way my mind thinks. That's the way I see things when I'm making pomp shoes. Just what's in this stuff can be made in such a way where you present one bait with all the extracts and that fish is going to. Probably buy it. Cave Art Tech Media, what's up, buddy? Good hey, to see Dad. you, man. That's one of my dogs here locally. YouTube channel, him. Mad Dog Fishing, local YouTube channel. Up, Cave Art Tech Media, local YouTube channel. Oh, I say local, that's Pensacola and Gulf Shores. Hey, uh, Ron Watts is asking where I can buy some, uh, what's it called? Right, let me, I, get, I get distracted. Let me finish that one question. Pomp Pace. So Pomp Pace is actually... Well, I can't say that because that'll give too much away. <laughs> Pomp paste is very uh, 
doable. My thing I'm working on is the stickiness content. One time I had it so sticky, I couldn't wash it off my hands. It really was almost like, like super glue. It took a while and finally I got it, but I forgot what I did. I am a terrible record keeper. I, I am very unstructured. I am very disorganized. And so I forgot what I did. So I've got to revisit that. But yes, a, a Procure is a gel. So some kind of gel-like substance to make a paste that you can rub on any bait that you have. And you won't need the fish gum pomp shoes. I'd say actually use fish gum with pomp paste together because that rapid acting is what you're getting. It's kind of like a drug, right? A rapid acting medicine versus a slow acting medicine. It's kind of what it is with the paste and the pump shoes. What's up, Rod Buster? I almost wore your shirt today, man, but I broke out a local bait and tackle shirt. Thank you so much for sending it. I do want to say something real quick. Uh, a subscriber gave me a logo that's made in metal. His name is Steve. Awesome. It is unbelievably incredible and, and i will say if you ever want some some work done it, it's probably reversed i don't know if it is or not but it's arc flash and i'll put this in the description that's pretty good i mean that is really and so i i wear this thing out man i love it and it's pretty heavy for like, it is pretty yeah. heavy all right ron's lock question uh, let's see some more questions what's the question yeah we already answered no, he didn't say where we can get some. Am I looking? Are you looking for investors? That's a great question. Uh, right now, I, I've, I've got my money 100% going towards it. And, and so it makes me, it's kind of scary, but <laughs> I believe what I'm doing and have seen and heard the story. So it, I, it's a joy to give the money right now towards building this potential product. I think I would. I think I would entertain investors. I just don't know that. Again, I'm unstructured. I don't know how to. You know, I, I don't want to be taken advantage of. You know, not that not that anybody would, but I just kind of go slow. Uh, and and I will say, you know, with every product that you make, you know, if someone like, uh, you know, Yum Baits or whatever else is out there that's a huge bait company wanted to talk with me and develop this, I would have to talk to them. If somebody else who's got capital wants to talk to me, I would have to talk to you. It's just the nature of when you've got an idea, because I can just take this probably so far on my own, and it'll come a point where the demand may be at a certain level. And it probably is many ways now. The demand, I, I answer probably 15 to 20 questions a week on Instagram or through private messaging, are these, are these baits for sale yet? And I constantly say no. Uh, and, no. and I give them, I give them, I give them away free. And even a part of uh, Patreon support us there. I give them, it's a free sample because I don't want to sell something yet until it's a hundred percent made and finished. And also all the legal jumps and hoops are been walked through uh, environmentally and all that kind of stuff. These these products are environmentally safe. Uh, there's nothing in there that's not FDA approved that I'm using. It's kind of similar to the story of fish bites. It's not going to deplete those. It's not in local stores yet yeah. in California. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. It's Instagram fish gum. It's fish gum surf fishing. It's fish gum surf fishing on Instagram. I follow. I am again. I'm disorganized. I'm not good at Facebook. You know, I, I, they, they always tell me, answer this person quickly to maintain your response rate. I'm I, I just not good. Instagram, by far, the is the personal way to get me. Follow, uh, follow. I'm on the road constantly. I can flip through it. I'm just not Facebook savvy. I, well, I need to develop a Facebook account, but I'm just not, not that good yet. So any other questions here? If your product does good with... Does your partners get buyers in natural? Yeah, the catfish industry. I appreciate that question, Southern Fisherman, because the catfish industry is is huge. I, mean, I have learned that there's there's more people who probably catfish than surf fish, and that is that's a place I've got to eventually be thinking about. I do want people to try the baits that I have with with the 
catfish repellent. You know, I'm kind of, saltwater catfish is not something you want to catch here. They they steal your bait before the good fish can eat it. So if you could kind of repel those with something you create, that's a good thing. As far as will pop shoes repel salt uh, freshwater catfish? I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't have many people who try them in salt if saltwater catfish because the way I'm I'm communicating them to people is that they repel catfish. So I'd love to see it. What's up, David? Man, good to see you, my Michael. man. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, he's a, he's one of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, David, for being here. Hopefully, I can get some before I go to Galveston. Well, listen. Okay, so we're moving into a point where we're almost ready for the giveaway. We're 15 minutes into this live stream. We're 30. Well, wait, wait. We started. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're 30. Okay. <laughs> you can think of some more questions. I'll try to get to them uh, on on YouTube later uh, today or tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and I apologize. Listen, one thing I want to say, and I know that those who are YouTubers that are on here, uh, I know that when you are, are, are putting information, putting yourself out there, people are getting to know you online. People who are, are locally here want to fish with you. I've told a lot of people, yes, and have not done it yet. And it's so hard to carve out time. I am going to do some kind of local event. I'm not a celebrity. I don't ever, I don't ever think of myself that way. I'm just a person trying to help others catch fish. That's my vision. I, I don't, don't hold on to things so tightly that it's just my advantage. I create things, do things crazy sometimes to give you an advantage. So I'm going to do some kind of local event where I'll post I'm going to be on the beach fishing on Saturday all day. There's going to be a tent set up. Meet me out there. Meet me out there. I'll get to know you. Fish with me at that local event so I can meet as many people as I can. And then also give away free samples at a local event. I'm also beginning to – I'm also beginning to – Longview Garage. Yeah. One of my Literally first – Who's the first giveaway winner? There we go. So I'm, I'm trying to do stuff at a local level, level – uh, where I can meet folks and then get samples out. I put, I think I put 10 at uh, Broxton's Outdoors in Navarre just to give away to people. I'll do Gold Breeze Bait and Tackle. I'll do uh, Outcast. I'll do Half Hitch. Uh, I just got to create them. And I, I usually give them out to the subs that I owe, uh, subscribers I owe them to first. And then uh, I will get them out to bait stores second. So there are people who actually won the last giveaway. Uh, not giveaway, the people who won my last, yeah, it was a giveaway. Where I give away five free samples on every video. That's the best way to get samples is just watch my video. Randomly people win. I haven't communicated to those people yet, uh, but they have, they have emailed me. But I've gotten your emails. I usually email when I send them so I know that I replied and sent them. Because if I reply now, I may, I may not forget that I ever replied to you. And maybe I thought that I sent them to you. So it's my way to keep up and organize by replying to you. Yes, I sent them today. So if you're waiting hey, for some. You can only answer this question. What's up, Earl? Good to see you, my man. Yes. Who would win in a fight, taco or hot dog? Only you can answer that. Who would win in a fight, taco or hot dog? I'm going to say hot dog. Yeah, that's what I I'm going to say hot dog. I like All right. Here's the way the giveaway is going to work. All right. Get your keyboards ready, your smartphones ready. Uh, I'm going to give away. Oh, no. I'm going to give away five samples of pump shoes yep. with, with, uh, with random questions, it'll be very easy. Okay. Hype, hype First and one to answer. And, and uh, hype and chat. the way to get in touch with me if you win is fishgum at yahoo.com, the easiest email in the world to remember. Fishgum, fishgum at yahoo.com. That might be backwards. I can't Why tell if it's backwards. Just do it in the chat. Uh, someone put it in the chat. Can someone write down fishgum in the chat for me? Fishgum at yahoo.com. So Why can't it's there. they just answer in the chat instead of email? Well, they email the information. I can send them the. No, he's gotten confused. Maybe I confuse you. If you win on the live chat tonight, oh. email me your information at fishgum at yahoo.com so I can send you the. Uh, so I can send you the a gift card. It's going to be an electronic gift card. I've got four twenty-five dollar Amazon gift cards uh, that are activated, and I'll send you the link. So we're going to first start with the four twenty-five dollar gift cards to Amazon. We are celebrating you guys joining the channel and subscribing to us. The, the other thing I'm going to do, same thing, five fish gum pop shoes. 
I'm just going to answer random questions. And the first person to answer, guys, one of my boys is going to write it down, and yeah. then you'll win the pop the shoes. The questions are really easy. I just saw them. the so the questions cool. are super easy. It wasn't like my my, uh, my other question that was kind of crazy and long. All right, so let's get started. Let's see here. One more question. Who's the biggest no, no, PB no. Pompano between you and your boys? Uh, I, I've got it, and I'm going to be honest with you, man. I, Oh, between between me and my boys, or the between my boys? No, just us all. So, I mean, boys. my personal best is not that big. It's seventeen point five inches. I think it went for three point four eight pounds. Uh, I caught that last year. Who caught between? In this area, uh, this year was unusual for the Gold Breeze Bait and Tackle Tournament. I think the winner was four point four four pounds last year. The guy who won the Pompano yeah. Tournament. He caught two pompano that were six pounds. Yeah. And you know what? I know how he did it. So one of my videos next pompano season will be chasing six pound pompano with how this guy did it. So it's kind of a secret right now. I don't even know if I'll ever put a video out if it works because that's a big secret. I try to give you all the secrets, but maybe not all of them. So I'll try my best to share with you everything that I know. I promise. All right, question time. All right, question time. All right, everybody get ready. I'll read the first Native Pride Outdoors, man, I hope you got those pop shoes. I sent them to him, and he maybe never got them. If you didn't get them, Native Pride Outdoors, I'll have to send you some more. Um, I apologize. He was he was really helping out a friend, learn how to surf fish and catch pompano, uh, disabled man, and I wanted to get the pop shoes to him as quick as possible. The male loses about 10% of the pop shoes that I send out. Cause it's kind of a weird package and it, it smells a little bit. So they're probably freaked out by that. So 10% are lost. So I hope I can get them to you again, right. my friend. All right, here we go. All right, I'll read it first. No, 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 wait, wait. Oh. Four questions. Don't show the paper. Uh, the first question will be, and all right, get ready. 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 It's going to be so easy. All right. The first question. And it, you, okay. Get your typing right Number one, the first question is, how how many sons do I have? How many sons do I have? Oh, Fabian, Eric, Fabian, you just won twenty five dollars, or Fabian, Erica, you just won twenty five dollars. Write that down quick, Fabian, Erica. Forty five. What? <laughs> Forty five. Longview Garage. Much. If Long I had 45, 45 children, 45. I would be, oh, no. I'd be really poor. I'd be Mom's eating here. pop chips. Mama. That's how poor I would be. Mom's My here. wife just came in. She'll, I'll, I'll have to come in and say hello here in a second. All right. We got to, all right. Fabian, uh, make sure you email me your information at fishgum, fishgum at yahoo.com. Question number two. No, Long View Garage right? Yeah, we have All right. Look, look she's going to cut this next question super easy. Come here. I got. I got to ask this one. I got to ask this one. Come here. Say hello, Natalie. Hi. Say hello. This is Natalie, my wife. Hello. This is my sister. So, guys, this is a true story. I was a punter in college, and if you understand punting, you understand that it is you know you don't want to out punch your coverage, all right? But I out punt my coverage with her. She's incredible. I love her to death. So this is Natalie, my wife. Okay. Next question for a twenty-five dollar. Amazon gift card. Get your typing ability ready. Next question. Her name is Natalie. Ready? This is Eli. No, this is who are you? For? This is Ray. You don't know my name. This is Ethan, and this is Eli. Okay. All right. You don't have to know names of this question, but it may help. It may not. But the first person to get this question. Ready? Here it is. Who is? The greatest catch in my life. Who is the greatest catch in my in my life? Who is it? Who is it? Boom! Michael got it right. Michael got it right. Thanks Michael. for saying my mom is beautiful. I Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's a beautiful family. Oh. All right, again, fishgum at yahoo.com. There's Mad Dog up there telling you hello. We know Mad Dog. Hi, She's had him before. Dog. All right, here we go. Michael. Oh, I got a headache. All right, next question. You want to ask it? Oh, what's it? Oh, what's don't it? show the paper, Greg. What's that question? It doesn't say okay, good. All right. What do I say? This this may be a Wait. this one may be a little bit more difficult. Uh, 
it, but it's going to help if people who know, watch my channel, think of the things that I create. Okay. Think of the things that I make right now. If you, if you see a lot of my videos that I make, go ahead. Great. All right. Here we go. Get, get ready. ready. Get ready. Get your typing down. Who is the, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> hey, say it loud. Say it loud. Who is. No, no. I know. Yeah. Who is. is the sand flea fly named after? Who is the sand flea fly made after? Named after. Named Who after. is the sand flea fly named after? Boom! William Elliot. Frank. Let's Frank. Go. Grandpa would have worked, but William Elliot. That is my father, Frank. We call it Frank's fly. William Elliot, congratulations. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna scroll up in the chat real fast. Yeah. I'm gonna I appreciate uh fishing with um, I don't know how to spell that for saying me as a best catch thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoever said my son was the best catch of my life, he says thank you. Me over. We, we appreciate over. that. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. You know, Frank's fly, I call it that for my father. Uh, he taught me a lot how to fish. It's one of the best memories that I have growing up. He passed away of, of sudden cardiac arrest about seven, six, six or seven years ago. Father's Day is coming up, but uh, as a way to honor him, that is, that is I, I think about my dad every time I go fishing. So. Here we go. Last question is going to be. Uh, I don't even have. Is it my last question? No. Who is my favorite son? No, stop that. <laughs> Who is my favorite son? I'm just kidding. So the last question. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Um, Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Man, I'm. I'm a, the last question needs to be simple. We don't even. What sentence did? <laughs> okay. Okay. So here. So here's no, here's the last question. All right. At the beginning, if if you missed the beginning, I'm sorry. I was trying to think of something I said afterwards. Um, okay. This question is in regards to fish gum pomp chews. Are you ready? Thank you. How many flavors of fish gum pomp chews are there? How many flavors? A fish gum pop shoes. There we go. Blessed Beardsman. One. You got it. Look at all y'all, man. Right. Awesome. Never call a pop oh. no, Let's go. You were asked. That is so cool. That is so cool. Actually, no, there's a lemon one for me. No, shit. There's a good uh, stuff. Vanilla flip. Hey, <laughs> oh, Connor, what's up? <laughs> hey. Okay, so listen, it is we've been on we've been at this for 42 minutes. Uh, I've got five, I got five pop shoes. That I need to give out. Um, I'm trying to think how to do that. I don't. I, we, we are getting the, close to the end, and I got to be succinct here. Um, let's do this. Uh, what I'm going to do? There's a lot of good comments. Uh, in my next, oh, I can't do. That. I need to give them away now. I need to give them away now. I need to give them away now. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Is this the last question? I've got, uh, okay, so the next five people who answer this question correctly, all five of y'all are going to win. Yak it with Jack. What's up, Yak it with Jack? All right. <laughs> so, so here we go. Here we go. I'm going to ask one more question, and the next five people will win pop shoes. Five in a row, boom, you're there. Five in a row, here we go. Right. Last question for the live stream. Woo! Here we go. Get ready. Ding -ding. Ding -ding. All right, so here we go. Where do we live in Florida? Where do we live in Florida? And what is our- Where do we live in Florida? Boom, Chris Williams. Williams. Hooked on outdoors. Red deal. Bring them in. Blessed Beersman won twice. Jackie yeah, with Jack. Oh, you just no. missed it, well, Jack. Well, you went twice, so it's... Jack, we'll talk later. Don't you know I owe you something. We'll talk later, Jack. I wish Bill won. All right, so my sons have... Wait, you can do not school me. Oh, so my sons never fight. They're little angels. Yeah. Little <laughs> angels, I tell you. We never so, fight. So here we're at. We're, gonna, we're going to... Uh, again, if you won tonight, we're writing you down. Contact me at fishgum at yahoo.com fishgum at yahoo.com uh i will i will send you the link for the people who won the 25 dollars gift cards before y'all i'll do that in the morning i need to spend some time with this lady right here and so it'll be a, a electronic gift card that you'll get 
And the other people uh, that won the five pound shoes, same thing. I will, I will, I will probably answer your email on on Thursday because I'm making some pomp shoes in the morning, and they love it when I make pomp shoes. They oh, love it. yes! <laughs> so, uh, man, guys, hey, it is an honor and a privilege for my family to be here with y'all tonight. I'm so glad this worked. My first stream was a fail. It was terrible. <laughs> People were just looking at the nothingness. I was just kind of looking at the computer, and it did nothing but just look at me. So, uh oh, he's got a question. Okay, Beardman. He said that he's never caught a pompano. Now he's getting a free sample of fish gum. Nice. He might catch pompano. He might catch a pompano. That's what it's all about. So again, it's an honor. We plan on doing. Uh, a giveaway at three thousand. I love doing it. Uh, I love I love giving back to y'all because y'all are helping me in so many ways, and and I, and I gladly I gladly take care of some of that cost to send y'all samples. And uh, my family, we're building this together. There, she's so on board with uh, fish gum. It's really it's really awesome. My three sons are on board, and so we're really in this together as a family. And, uh, and one day I hope to be able to produce something that really does help you catch more fish. It's simple to use, and uh, and you know you know that you know the inventor behind it in our family. I think that's a cool opportunity uh, to do this together. Thanks for joining okay, in the email? adventure. You're asking for the email. Oh, the email again: fishgum at yahoo.com. Gum doesn't exist. Fishgum at yahoo.com. So we're going to sign off and I'm going to say thank you so much again. Join us next time when we excite the surf strike. God bless. Subscribe to Vicky T and Rosemary.